Hey everybody, hope you're having a great time watching in your jammies. We're happy to be here with you. I'm Lisa Gibbons, my buddy Mark Steinis. Well, I'll tell you, it is nice here, but it's also nice in Hawaii, and that's Hawaii's youth at its finest. The uh, uh, Nakoa Ali'i, all Hawaii All-State Marching Band. The dancers and musicians come from all over the Hawaiian Islands, and they rehearse separately. Get this, they're separate, and then they come together for the first time here in Pasadena to make this very jubilant sound that you're about to hear. A little aloha listen. Provided by Goodyear. In 2019, drive strong from start to finish all year long. Happy New Year from Goodyear. More driven. This shot shows you the Aloha shirts are arranged in color blocks. I don't know if you can tell, but it's designed to look like a marching rainbow, which I think is a really nice touch. They're known for their contemporary Polynesian sounds and style, but the musicians are marching in traditional handmade raffia and chow bark skirts. So much tradition, mm. honoring the past, marching towards a brand new year in unison. It's interesting how they all practice separately and then they all come together. And fingers crossed, it all, it all... And it looks like it's work. working perfectly. It, of course it does. Because they are very young but very productive. <laughs> More than 40 public and private schools throughout the state are represented in this marching band, and it is. It's a rainbow of talent. I love that shot from above because I think you could, if you could see from our perspective, just this rainbow of colors. There's a nice shot of the reds, the yellows, the greens. Aloha, back to you. <laughs> Oh, don't you know the parents are so proud. I love when we get to see the close-ups of all their hard work yes. paying off. Five and a half miles down Colorado Boulevard. They'll get to look all those spectators in the eye, many of whom Mark have been camped out for two days. And a lot of the bands that you see here today aren't just here for the parade. They do other community service events while they're spending time in Southern California helping raise money and awareness for good causes. Here we have a floral extravaganza of Hawaiian culture presented oh. in Dole Packaged Foods Float Rhythm of Paradise. It is presented by FTD. It's an award winner Wrigley Legacy Trophy. Most outstanding display of floral presentation, float design, and entertainment. They always knock it out, and this year, no exception. This one prominently features a lifelike sculpture of Lono. He's the god of music and peace. Lono's magnificent golden hue of crushed walnut shells is accentuated with tribal tattoos crafted in poppy seed. You know, when you see this up close, it's, it, the amount of work that goes into that mm -hmm. is astonishing, isn't it? Yes. Now, swimming all around Lono is an array of ocean life, including dolphins, of shimmering protea petals, and tiger sharks contrasted in light and dark gray poppy seed. It's a colorful underwater paradise. Highlighted by the vivid coral reef made of tangerines, kumquats, red orchid florets, and hot pink gerbera. Dole Packaged Foods committed to providing healthy, sustainable products. The company, by the way, donates 1.5 million pounds of food each and every year to help families, those in need. And their Hawaiian masterpiece illustrates not only the rhythm of music and dance, but also the rhythm of land and ocean. They do so by giving back and responsibly managing our resources. And they say we can keep both rhythms alive and doing well. Um, a 12-foot waterfall, which circulates 250 gallons of recycled water is on that. Here, continuing that aloha spirit, you're talking about the radiant Hawaii Pau Riders. In the regal Pau tradition of Hawaiian kings and queens riding in grandeur to the royal balls, Pau princesses are dressed each in their own island colored satin jackets and printed skirts. And as has been the tradition since before buttons and zippers. 
I want you to know, Mark, those skirts are held up by Kapui nuts. Oh. See? Yes. You didn't know. I thought a belt would do it. The men are donned <laughs> in royal red velvet capes, the king's attire from the 1800s, and also a white felt cowboy hat. Mm -hmm. Thoroughbreds, paint, and buckskin horses are adorned with fresh floral, floral lace from Hawaii, just like their riders. Mahalo, Hawaii Pau riders, and look, we got Hawaiian music, Hawaiian flow themes.